death and resurrection. That's what we are talking about today. Now, there are so many questions that are out there in the world concerning death in particular. Where are our dead? Where do they go? Is there life after death? Where is God when it hates most? When death visited the Garden of Eden or when death visited our first parents, it left them devastated. And even today, we still are losing brothers and sisters on a daily basis. So therefore, dear friends, the subject of death, it is a touchy subject because we experience it on a daily basis. Now let's turn our Bibles to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and the verses 5. Now the Bible reads, For the living know that they will die. I know that I'm going to die. You know that you are going to die. Our children are going to die. Our brothers, our fathers, our mothers, they are going to die. Some have already died. So the Bible is saying we know that we are going to die one way or another. But goes ahead to say, but the dead know nothing. But the dead know nothing. So our knowledge of death is only there while we are still alive. When we are dead, we completely know nothing. It is like a sleep and unconscious state where brothers and sisters, everybody who is there who has died, they know nothing. They cannot praise, they cannot sing, they cannot protect, they cannot do anything. It is because they are in a fast sleep where they cannot be able to do anything. But there's always an assurance from the word of God that in as much as we have our brothers and sisters who have died, who are dying, who are going to die, there is an assurance of something that is going to happen in the last days. Let us turn our Bibles to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and the verse is 16. Now the Bible, the Bible reads, or rather I'll start from verse 13. Paul says, but we do not want to have you uninformed. So in other words, there are people who are not informed. So in other words, Paul is saying, I don't want you to be uninformed. Concerning what? Concerning those who are asleep. The same people that we spoke about in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5. So that you will not grieve as do the rest who have no hope. There are people who grieve as if they don't know that we are going to meet our loved ones. Those who have died, dear friends, they are asleep and they are awaiting the coming of Jesus Christ. Now he goes ahead in verse 16 to say, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a loud shout. The dead in Christ shall rise first. What an assurance from a loving God that those who have died, we have the hope to meet them. We have the hope to speak to them. In other words, those who want to speak to the dead, we can only speak to them on the resurrection. When they have resurrected, that is the time that we'll be able to have time with them. How I wish that we might weep with hope. How, how I wish that we might know that those who are dead, they are asleep and cannot talk, cannot protect, and cannot walk with us. Thank you.